Sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what's using my life? Heard a guy give a lecture one time that says, we are today what we were when. And he was talking about the fact that we, to a great extent, behave, think, react because of some previous experience that we've had. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, business is successful, Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. Am I correct? Yes. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Somebody said that, that adversity introduces a man to himself or a woman. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. When I was facing some challenges, I had a guy say something to me and I suggest this is one of the first things that you want to do when you're facing a challenge. You want to get unstuck. Evaluate where you are. Look at it. Assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? Earl Nightingale had a saying I like. He said, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. What has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything? Or are you doing it over and over and over again? Somebody said that insanity is doing the same thing in the same way, expecting a different outcome. Are you going through it or are you growing through it? Are you bigger and better because of it? because it's not going to leave you until you grow through it. I was going through a major challenge in my life that was wearing me out, that was using me. Well, you see, your mind is, is, you know when you go into a service station to get gas, you don't go in there and just start pumping. When you push the lever up, it clears the previous bill. By the same token, if you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I couldn't move, I couldn't think about what am I going to do to get out of this situation because I was so concerned about what happened and what he did to me and how bad it was. I was so stuck in that I couldn't even focus on what I should have done. Feeling sorry for myself and angry and none of that was taking me anywhere. So pretty soon I, I learned through effort, made a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. I had to let it go, I had to forgive it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? All of us have experienced some tragedy and if we have it, we will. And you can either let it destroy your life or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let, you, let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this.